everyone. It's Bruno's big day. His first trip to the doctor. Bruno, where's he going, buddy? Where's he going? He is so excited. <laughs> you Are you going, going, you going to see the doctor? You going to go see the vet? Huh? Yeah, you ready to go? All right, we'll go in a few minutes. <laughs> He's all excited. We are at the vets, but what we got to do is we got to wait in the truck, and then when it gets close to time, we call them, let them know we're here, <laughs> and they'll come out and get us, huh? <laughs> Sounds like a teddy bear. Yes, I was just letting you know that Bruno's here. The Toyota Tacoma, the truck. All right, thanks. Bye. All right, cool. I don't know if they'll let me film in here. But anyway. <laughs> He's all uh, excited. He's ready to go. Yeah. All right. I got to get my mask on here. You ready, Bruno? <laughs> in a few minutes. They come and get Bruno. <laughs> so cute. There he goes. Only one person's allowed, so I let her go. Bruno's her dog. I got him for her, so. But that's okay. I will let you guys know what happens. Or, well, how he is and everything and how it went as soon as he comes out. So today, we're gonna put some switches on the boat and uh, for the lights, still haven't done that yet. And um, I may put a horn in it. I was thinking about using the Uga horn that we uh, worked on. <coughs> Putting that up in there, um, up in the bow, up underneath. Although it would look cool right up on front of it. But anyway, we'll see about that. But then we got to go get gas because she's got to work all day tomorrow. She's got a full day, so I'll be packing things and stuff like that. I'll bring you along with me on that and getting things ready to go for Saturday. But um, so tomorrow I'll put the boat where we usually park the truck and then when she gets home, I'll hook the truck up to the boat and then we can just Saturday morning just roll out because we're going to load everything up in the truck uh, Friday night. But um, so we're going to go get gas for the boat and stuff like that. I don't know whether we're going to get to use the boat or not. It's supposed to be nasty weather all weekend, but we'll see. Um, but that way we'll have our gas anyway. It doesn't, it doesn't use a lot of gas, so that's pretty good. But I always want to make sure I got enough. Um, we're going to check the spare tire. I noticed the spare tire is flat. So we're going to check it, see what may be wrong with it, and then we'll go from there. So stick around, more to come. This, this is going to be a vlogging day. Bruno's first trip to the doctor. <laughs> we're at the animal clinic. So, all right, guys, hang tight. So Bruno's getting ready to get back into the truck right here. So there comes Monkey. Uh, I have to do a voiceover here because stupid ass me had the music the radio on in the background and of course I can't do that I'll demonetize a video or if they don't do that they give you the option to uh, uh, to to turn this section of it down or take this section out while well, kinda defeating the purpose of showing you that he went to the vet but anyway uh, he's he's very healthy he does have an uh, infection in his ear which they gave him medicine for he has no worms he got all his shots he got five shots and he was a very good dog his teeth are healthy so they uh, clipped his nails so monkey don't have to do that um, 
so that's good um they said just you know file them down every so often get a file and file them down and and you don't have to clip them that way and there's his certificate his he's healthy that shows he's been vaccinated that's the heart that you know that little thing you put on his uh the little tag that you put on to his um collar but he did very well i'm proud of him and he weighs 15 pounds and his skin i'm telling her right there that uh, they said to put a, uh, like fish food in his food is what she told me anyway so i said well it looks like i'm going to need to do some more fishing so <laughs> but uh that's it. you know put a little fish oil in his into his food and that'll help to keep his skin from drying out but yeah that's why he's been shaking his ears a lot lately because they got a little infection but nothing serious and they're they're not too worried about it so he's ready to go camping he's got a clean bill of health and we're ready to go too so anyway sorry about the the voiceover but you know things happen so let's get on to the clip okay guys we're back we dropped dropped bruno off the house now we're going to go get some switches for the boat and we're going to get some gas i'll show you how i mix my gas and uh, it's 50 to 1. A lot of people have trouble mixing. Um, but we don't have any place close around here where we can get pre mixed for our boat. So we mix it ourselves. Um, but if you got a place around you, I know it's expensive to buy it already pre mixed, but you know, then it's perfect. You know, it's right. But I'll show you how I mix it. But let's go get our switches, and then we're going to get our gas. I'm gonna head back to the house and put the switches in. Okay guys, we're at the gas station. What we have here, we've got a five gallon can of gas. And we've got this, now I don't know where he got this. this these things are handy, okay? Um, so I can't tell you where to get them. I mean, I'm sure you can get them in all different places. So I don't know where he got this one. This one's nice. Okay, so you come over here, 50 to one. That's what we're mixing this at. And over here, it also has liters. And you fill to this line okay but so we're going gallons of gas all right so we're going to go to five gallons and we're going to fill it up with this much oil okay hopefully I got enough oil if not I'll have to go in and get some oil so let's go ahead and fill it up to that mark so you got 24 to 1 40 to 1 50 to 1 and 100 to 1 so we're going 50 to 1 here and what we're going to do is we're going to fill it and we're getting five gallons so we're going to fill it up to here to that line right there I mean it's real simple a lot of guys gas on their mixtures but sometimes you can run it too rich you can run it too lean oh okay so I'll tell you what we'll do since we're right here what we're going to do that's four gallons I'll put four gallons of gas in the can let's go ahead and put this back on here she wants to run the cheap stuff so I just got yelled at for almost putting expensive stuff in the truck. But yeah, invest in one of these, it's a lifesaver. Makes life so much easier. Well, what would really be easy is if we had a place around here we could just get the pre-mix, but that's okay. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that little plug out first and then there's one right up under here we're going to take that one out and I'm going to let this drain while we're putting uh, while while we're putting the switches in so let's go ahead and drain that out you grab a screwdriver okay we're going to take this bottom plug out I've already loosened it so Let's see here. So I can get in here better for you guys. 
I know all your sins in my hand. <clears throat> so you're gonna take this bottom plug out first. I'm gonna let that drain. Looks like there's a little bit of water. I still don't know why it's coming out that hole there. But now we're gonna take, damn it. We're gonna take this top one out. And that's gonna let air in, it's gonna let it start draining. See, there it comes. It's got water in it. There we go. Let's get these out of here. Put them on this rag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that drain for a long time. And then I'll show you how to put the uh, the gear lube back in. Really, it's just 90 weight. You can use 90 weight in a pinch, but I got the regular stuff because I got it cheap. So hang tight and I'll get you set up and get everything ready to put the light switches in. Okay guys, I got my holes marked. This one's gonna be a fuse. I'll show you what kind of fuse I got. Now one of these, it's gonna be over here by cell. So that's gonna be a fuse. Then we're gonna have our three switches, all right? Uh, one's for the bow lights, one's for the spotlights, and one's for the uh, inside lights. Okay, so I got my handy dandy little deal here. I'm just gonna mark these holes, just like that. Well, they're already marked, I'm center punching them so my drill bit don't walk on me. So those should be, that should be good. What I'm gonna do is open one of these up and uh, make sure that we're gonna have enough room before I start drilling holes in my boat. And I got these, I'll show you, I got these switches for a reason because I had, I have those uh, rocker style switches and they light up and stuff. They're cool, but I like this one better because it's kind of old school. You know, it's on a 69 boat. So I think that should be uh, and these things are hot I'm sitting out here in the sun Whew. Off. I'm gonna go like this so yeah those should be spread out enough I think plenty of room like that what I did is on my uh on my fuse there's my fuse so it's going to come from the fuse it's going to go it's going to go into this one then into the, the second fuse and then into the third fuse and then all these i've got my wires all ready to go onto the other ones it's real simple you got your power going in whichever one it is you got your power going in into one side and your power coming out on the other so it's going to be it's going to be great i hope all right so anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to drill it out with my step drill here i'll drill one hole for you and then i'll do the rest off camera because it's just it's pretty boring it's just drilling a couple holes All right, so we'll drill this first one here. I'll make sure I don't go too big. Go another step. These step bits are really nice. Right, let's go one more step. go and that'll do it so I'm gonna do that with all the holes and then I'll, I'll kick you back on all right guys so here's what I did 
with the power wire that's that brown one it's coming in to that switch it's going into that switch and going into that switch okay it's, I think it's called daisy chaining and that one's for the navigational lights and this one is for the spotlights headlights and this one is for the uh, uh, interior lights so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tape them up and uh, here's the fuse here's where I got got the fuse it's old style <laughs> it's a 15 amp fuse in there that should carry it which I'll always carry extra fuses so that should be good to go now I'm going to put these in here all I do is you just take them you put them up in there and then put your nut and switch on or your thing on there and I'll, I'll show you when I get done because right, we'll try them out okay guys here we go now the first one is going to be the nav lights so let's go check our navigational lights and yes nice second one's going to be our spotlights go check them out oh yeah they're on now and the third one is going to be the interior lights which we should see kick on right there yep there they are and over there and all of course all the way up through here that you you can't see there you go all right so now awesome now all i gotta do is hide these wires like shutting down an airplane right get these wires buttoned up in some wire loom make it look real nice and uh so we got that done what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and fill this up with our gear lube which is right there you can use 90 weight i have used 90 weight before in the past without any issues but i asked the guy what he wanted for this stuff he said oh no there's no price on it he said uh I don't know what I gave for. How's five bucks? I said five bucks is perfect. <laughs> so I'm gonna lower this this down so we can get the motor a little straighter. And uh, but first I'm gonna go in, get something cold to drink, and I'll be back out with you guys. And we'll go ahead and fill this up. Now I'll tell you what I want to do. be awful big i was thinking about putting it under there but it's too big what i'd like to do is put that ugle horn right up here but i don't know if this will cover it you know once it's on the way it's supposed to be i don't know if there'll be enough room there there should be i'll just have to set it up there and find out so if uh if it will i think i'll put that ugle horn up there because it looks cool now it predates the boat of course but i went ahead and got me one of these for the horn all right let's go ahead and get cooled down what in blue blazes sister screwing oklahomian shit is this mask for your lips oh you can't talk no wait whoa hold on mom's got it oh. <laughs> That's it. We're going in the crotch. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to do this best that I can do this for you. What I'm going to do, I've already got the tip cut cut off of this now, is I'm going to put this up in here, and I'm going to squeeze this tube until I see stuff start running out up here. So I'm going to go ahead and bend you back here a little bit. See right in there? So let's go ahead and start this. I know it's going to need an output shaft. There it comes. See? Just like that. Now we're going to put our screw in. Get started there. Uh oh.
But anyway, that work order, when that guy had all that work done, when they put the new seals in, they said the output shaft was pitted. And they cleaned it up the best they could. Well, I found them online for about 35 bucks. They already had $600 into the boat. I don't know why they wouldn't have put, when they put new seals in, why they put new seals on an old shaft. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's in there. Now I'm going to show you. Let's go ahead and put the other screw back, the other plug back in. Here it is. Just like that. And it's full. That's all you got to do to these outdrives. They're all pretty much the same. Everyone I've ever had's all been just like this. Now I'm going to use my big screwdriver so I can get it tight. But <laughs> there was a little bit of water in here. That's why it looks like kind of like chocolate milk. Uh, but so. I mean, just because it's not leaking out don't mean it's not leaking in, getting water in it. Now, I got, looks like a, looks like there's a vent hole there and a vent hole here. So, I'm not sure why they'd vent it right there when this is going to be under the water. Uh, I'll have to look into that. I've never seen them vent right there before. I don't know if somebody's drilled them holes in there for a reason or what I'm, I'm not sure because the water's only got to be up to here you know you don't want your water you know you just need your water up to here so uh, because on this side over here here's the here's your inlet for your water pump that's where your water goes in at so I'm not sure why them two holes there's one there and that one there i'm not sure why they're there not sure about that at all i'm gonna have to look into that uh i don't know i don't know why that's like that because i mean if oil's coming out of there that means water's getting in right <laughs> i mean you know you have to have this this has to be lubricated in here you know this is where all your your gears are kind of it's kind of like a transmission you know what i mean just like a transmission so all right i don't think i'm going to get to the horn today I, i'd like to see i'd like to put my uh bung plug right here my drain plug right in here somewhere probably right about there uh instead of up in the middle right there and then just go ahead and weld that over plug it off or whatever but anyway that's later on these things I think I'm gonna put brass on there because brass will look cool it's a boat you know <laughs> so but the transom looks good but so we should be all right here this should be ready to go I've probably got enough to do one more time but like I said in a pinch you can use 90 weight I have used 90 weight before I've never had an issue with it uh, I mean if you look on here SAE -E 80 weight 90 so it's it's you know it's a hybrid 90 uh, you know it's a 90 weight 80 weight 90 weight I would run 90 I have before but anyway when we put new seals on it we'll uh, we'll go over it I'll get a new piece for this it's a little bit of movement there but it'll be all right to finish the summer out I do believe hopefully <laughs> if not we'll be doing it sooner but I'm, I'm kind of wanting to hold off till you know about December January in that area that way we can just pull this motor off put it in the garage and go ahead and rebuild this yank the lower unit off I could I could just do that go ahead and yank the lower unit off of it and take it in and rebuild it you know, here's a shifting rod is in here you un unscrew a bolt in there and that's for your lower rod and that's for your upper rod and then you take these bolts out 
there's a bolt here there's one two three i think four around the bottom and your lower unit will come out so anyway and i believe the pump's right in here okay so i think that's going to be it for today i gotta go in and cool off again and i'll close out for you and uh do my outro so anyway here's what our switches look like i still got like i said i still got to get my wires wire tied up there nice and neat but uh yeah there they are then if i got to change a fuse which i've got plenty i'm going to bring extra i'll put in my little uh waterproof box over there that box floats too so that's good and that's all you got to do to change the fuse so that way if we're out and we blow a fuse no problem so anyway I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the horn or the horn button I think it'll fit right here and I just you know ooga, ooga. all right guys let's go in the house okay guys hope you enjoyed them clips just kind of a vlogging day today that wasn't really a how-to on the boat as much as it was how I do it um, pretty simple you know you got power in and power going out make sure you fuse it um, you know put a fuse in there somewhere I do have those inline fuses those plastic ones I hate them things uh, and I like that one because it's, it's an old style that's why I wanted to go with them switches the older style switches to kind of match the boat it's not a show boat <laughs> pun intended but it you know it is uh it is an old boat and it's just so hot out there. It's 90 degrees with a real feel of 100. You see that? And it is what, October 8th. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Monkey's got a couple videos. Uh, she'll probably have hers up before this one. But if you see this one first, go over and check hers out. She put, she uh, filmed two videos today. She's added editing them right now and i'm going to go edit this one and get it uploaded for you and i'll go out this evening pick up the rest of my tools and stuff because it's just so hot out there guys big day tomorrow getting ready to go camping for saturday so i'll bring you along with me on that i'll be vlogging tomorrow uh, packing stuff up getting things ready checking stuff off my list i have a uh, it's just a uh, just a check, checklist app. There's some of the things I've got on it. And, you know, you just check it off once you, uh, you know, once you uh, put it away or whatever. It's a free app. There's no ads on it. Just, you know, for somebody that just wants a simple, you know, just a simple checklist app. It was free. I got that through Google google play so anyway guys again thanks for watching i appreciate it i gotta get cooled down and get this video edited and get it put up for you so i'll have one more video for you tomorrow and um, then you probably won't see anything again until monday so don't be alarmed everything's fine on this end we just got to um uh like i said i don't know because we're going to be camping, so I don't know if we can get signal out there to do a live stream. If we can, we'll do a live stream. If we can't, stay tuned for Monday because we'll be uploading some videos then. I did hear back from um, the, uh, da, 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 what do you call it? Um, the Travel Channel. Um, I did get a message from them today. It says that um I don't know let me find it here um I did get one so I did sign the license and I'm trying to find the one that um, here we go oh 
Okay. Not that one. Hang on a second, guys. Okay, here we go. Um, it says that the license is non-exclusive and you would maintain ownership of the footage. You can keep it up on your channel, license it to new sites, etc. We only ask that you not license it to another paranormal clip show for 12 months. That's fine. That's cool. I mean, you know, it's it's... It's not all my videos. It's just that one video anyway. So, yeah, no problem with that. It says, please note that we can only pay if Travel Channel approves the video for broadcast. Well, yeah, that's, I mean, that's understandable. If, if they don't broadcast it, then why pay me, right? Because they're not going to be showing it. it. says, the review process can take a while we should know in the next couple of months. I'll keep you posted. It also says, if that all sounds good, please send your legal name for the license. I will then write it up and send it via whatever they use there. I'm not going to give the name, but once you sign, our head of licensing will uh, countersign then send you a completed copy for your records. It also says uh, a producer should be in touch with you in a few weeks to schedule the interview. We can also send you the questions ahead of time. So, <laughs> a couple weeks, I should be hearing from the producer. Um, that's that's awesome. So, I mean, so it looks like we're moving forward now. It's just up to them if they want to air it. I'll be getting some money not a lot of money don't think I'm rich and anything like that but you know at least I'll get my name out there some more for my channel uh, so it's a go on my end I already signed the licenses I am the license owner they license through that video through me I'm the video owner um, so that's cool and um, just gotta wait on them so and if it airs I'll let you guys know so I should be hearing from a producer in a few weeks so the ball is rolling um, I've got copies of the licenses and everything like that they've got my information it's a go so far on this end now it's kind of up to the travel channel if they want to air it once it airs I figure that's when they'll pay me but it's not a lot of money guys but the cool thing is that I'm getting you know Shea Bear 1000 getting get my channel name out there so I'll keep you posted as I hear more about that and if if they do air it I will let you know when it's going to be on so you guys can watch it so that being said thanks again for watching it's hot I'm going to go get the stuff taken care of stay tuned this weekend well you won't be able to see it this weekend but stay tuned for Monday for at least a video on Monday of uh of some of our excursions um, like I said we're gonna do you know I'm gonna do tent setup and a tent review um, I think there's something else I want to review but we figured the camping stuff that we're gonna review we're gonna review it while we're camping <laughs> so uh, you know fire building stuff like that we're not gonna do a lot of b-roll where it's a 27 minute long video and 22 minutes of it's me walking through woods picking up firewood chopping firewood we're not going to do that you know we're just going to have fun with you guys so stay tuned for monday uh like i said i'll have one more tomorrow bringing along with me vlogging packing things up and uh if it's not raining too bad maybe we'll put the horn on the boat we'll see anyway guys thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now don't forget to check out monkey 1000 channel she's awesome and we'll see you guys soon have a safe and happy weekend coming up and uh Y'all be cool. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Take care.